I would suggest that anybody is starting to look into franchise and vet the process, spend a lot of time looking at the existing operations, talk to franchise owners, and then see if it's a good mix for their personality and their, their passion. You have to have a passion to do this work in order to succeed. Well, I think one piece of advice that I would give, and it is kind of along the lines of what Pete said, is that you need to have somebody who's going to support you, and then you also need to have um, well-defined and well-respected roles in what it, exactly are you going to do, what is going to be expected of you as part of the franchise, are you going to be part of the franchise, um, what work are you going to do, what aren't you going to do, and then let each of you work to the strengths that you have identified. Um, and that, I think, is really going to help you build a very strong franchise. One uh, word of advice that I would give to new franchise owners is really learn from the leaders here in the group. They have a tremendous amount of knowledge and know how the business model is supposed to work. My background was as a police officer, police chief, and I have a military background also. And I found the greatest challenges I had to meet as a franchise owner was to learn the business model and to learn the business side of security. And that has um, been not such a problem because the franchise model is such that there's plenty of support and uh, assistance from the franchise group there. As a police chief, I did not have a sales background, but I have the ability to develop relationships, and that's where the importance is, relationship building. This isn't really a sales process. Some of the hurdles that we've had to overcome in Anchorage and myself, uh, coming from a military background, was no prior sales training. Operational um, tasks and the organization is something that came second nature, but um, as far as sales, that was definitely something new for us. So with all the online training and then, um, like I previously said, the support from the rest of the franchise owners, um, I was really able to overcome that and learn something new and challenging and get to test myself each day on it. I would describe the, the Signal 88 Network group of franchise owners as being very supportive and cooperative. As an example, I have three franchises that have grown as incubators or related to my franchise and we share commonalities, we share clients, and we provide referrals to each other to help everybody succeed. We do have a very unique group of very supportive um, franchise owners who are there to support each other. Um, and it's a positive, it's a very positive culture, and I think you need that. The Signal 88 Franchise Group helps us to be successful in that they develop the expertise that we need and consultants that we can reach out to when we have that concern. How I would describe the network of owners is just a bunch of guys that are um, truly passionate about what they do, whether it be helping um, each individual franchise owner or a new franchise or an existing franchise, helping the community. Um, it's, uh, it's amazing to see how much heart there is in the, uh, in the franchise group. The Signal 88 brand has grown in my market to be the go-to provider of first-class security services through brand awareness and the recognition that the other providers out there are doing a terrible job. How Signal 88 is perceived in my market from day one to now is um, we were completely unknown, um, but with uh, working with the community and getting to know our clients on a, on a more personal level. Um, they uh, really enjoy our level of service, they know that we truly care about them, that uh, we're going to go the extra mile for them and make sure that everything is uh, to standard at the end of the day.